Hello everyone, welcome to Nady Mobile Wits. In today's video, we are going to cover this important interview question. This question can be asked to you multiple times that what is the use of JVM static annotation. So let's start today's video. We will learn why to use it and when to use it and how it can help us in some ways, right? So let's say we have one singleton class, okay? And to create a singleton, let's use this object and let's call it utility okay and let's say we have one function inside this get data and for now just add some kind of print ln statement inside this this is some data we can also return the same thing it can be anything right so we can define either let's say return some data we are returning and let's make return type also as a string right so we have this function inside a singleton class now if we want to access this function so inside our kotlin class we can simply access it with the help of utility dot get data right like this we can directly access this method which is inside our singleton class so inside our java class if we try to access the function get data and if we try to put dot get data we will not be able to access this right so it is telling that this function is not static as of now and if we try to access this function we need to access with the help of instance then we can access the function name right but is there any possible way that without using this instance we can access the function like we are accessing inside Kotlin so if we don't add any annotation we need to use this instance right but if we don't want to use that instance so we can add one annotation jvm static and with the help of this annotation kotlin compiler will create one static function and that static function can be used directly without this instance so now we have added this jvm static annotation so our static function is created by kotlin compiler that's why we can access without any instance if we write instance also it will show us one warning right so it is saying that this static member get data can be accessed without the instance we can remove this but if you are wondering that what's happening internally so let me just show you something so as of now let's comment out this part and let's go to tools kotlin and try to see this byte code okay so as of now this function is final but it's not static okay we have one static instance created this one instance and with the help of this instance we can access this function right but if we make this function annotated with jbm static this function will be created as a static itself so just focus here the moment i will uncomment this this function will become static okay so let's uncomment this and we can see that now this get data function is static by default and that's why in java we are able to access it because this function is a static function now right so that is the use of jvm static annotation i hope you enjoy this part and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video with some new interview question